Questions for Coach Sumlin, please raise your hand. Justin Spears. Hey, Coach. Um, sorry, tough loss today, but overall, what did you think your team showed today? What, excuse me? It was a tough loss today, but what did you think your team proved today? I don't know that we proved anything. I think that, um, you know, you either win or lose. But um, I thought that um, we had some, you know, some guys that played for – we had some experienced guys that we expected – to play well we had some uh, obviously some some newcomers uh, whether they were transfers or young guys that uh, that uh, that played well and and um, you know but not well enough to win and that's that's the bottom line so you know as I told them in the, in the locker room you know um, you know our effort was was great um, was where it should be I thought um, you know, athletically, we've we've improved in in all three phases, but uh, to win games, close games like that, to come down to, you know, some situational football, uh, some things that that we can clean up, and and um, you know, we got to go back and, on Monday and 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 fix those things, and those those things are are are, are fixable, um, but you know, athletically, we're better, and um, uh, I thought our guys gave gave uh gave effort we we got to be smarter in some situations and and uh you know to 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 get over the hump because it ultimately in 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 those kind of close games it comes down to uh, you know making plays and 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 um you know doing your job and and we had a couple breakdowns in in that area but that that can be fixed defensively what was your overall impressions on that side of the ball no, I, you know, we, to, to, you know, I thought, to, you know, in the first half we had, um, I thought we did a, a good job. We, we had, um, we only had three penalties in the first half, but they were three third down penalties, right? One questionable call and, and then uh, some others that, uh, that gave them first downs to keep, keep some drives alive. Um, but, you know, the rotation up front, I thought, um, has improved, particularly in, in our run defense. You know, they found uh, – they started running um, some more stretch zone and, and um, took us a while to get that shut down in the second half. But, you know, overall, we're, we're better. We – you know, we, we – uh, the one thing I would say is we didn't – you know, we didn't force a turnover today. But, um, you know, that's, that's credit to, to, to USC also as well. Um, so, you know, I, I thought, uh, you know, we have some things that we can build off of and, and uh, but uh, certainly uh, up front, um, our D line, I thought against the run was, was, uh, was improved. Next question, Michael Lev. <clears throat> hey there, coach. Um, what was the defensive strategy and or thought process on USC's final drive? Well, um, we were down a couple safeties. Um, you know, I, I don't know. We had some um, some mix-ups there just because, number one, you know, Jackson Turner had left the game a couple times and was out. Um, our safeties were, you know, were, were, were thin there anyway, and, and uh, we had a couple DBs that were, that were, that were out. Um, so, you know, the, the ability to play man-to-man -man or, or a little tighter coverage right there, you know, with, with our – you know, the, the or thirds or second and thirds or uh, and some multiple deals with nickel, you know, we're, we're a little bit out of that. So, um, you know, that that's that was the position we were in. And, and uh, uh, obviously, USC took took advantage of that. Right. And then you guys got up to, the, I think, your own 47 yard line. Grant got sacked on the next play. So the final play was from the 40, was that just slightly out of where you'd go for a, a Hail Mary in that situation? Yeah, that I mean, a particular yeah, guard line? yeah, you're talking about throwing it 60. We had that discussion, you know, getting the ball up in the air 65 yards, you know, is one thing, but uh, also protection and, and things like that. So, yeah, I mean, we, you know, we, we had that discussion on the sideline and just felt like um, the rugby situation was, was our best opportunity to try to try to move the ball. Next question, Jason Shear. Hey, Coach. Um, in, in the offseason, Paul Rhodes kind of mentioned it too, and uh, just the overall lack of depth on, on defense. Is this one of those games where 
that kind of shows up, like you kind of mentioned before? Yeah, my, I, you know, obviously the last couple of drives that that was that was it. But you know, there's there's in a game like that, that was a a a uh, a uh, really physical game too. And so, um, you know, that might show up. But that's hey, that's where we are. And um, you know, we we've got to um, to learn from that. And and our rotations up front helped us. I thought. Uh, you know, but we lost a couple guys in, in the back end. You know, we lost Christian Young early in the game, uh, Jackson Turner uh, later in the game, um, you know, and, and, you know, Lorenzo came out but went back in. So, you know, a, a lot of those guys that started the game were, were not available in the fourth quarter. Next question, Troy Hutchison. Um, special teams, uh, Luke, Lucas Havasek missed the first field goal tonight and then and went three for three for three then on out. Can you just talk about his performance to be able to bounce back from that? Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, Lucas played a lot of football, you know, and, and uh, you know, he came back and, and, and made uh, particularly the last one was, um, uh, how, how far was that? I don't even, for him um, to put 51. us up, uh, 51 to put us up. So, you know, that he bounced back well. I thought uh, the other piece was, you know, he's a real weapon in, as, as, a, as a kickoff guy. You know, I think he, every kick tonight was a touchback, um, which against the really talented returners um, like St. Brown and, and, and Tyler Vaughn, you know, I think that's the, the, uh, the uh, unsung thing that, that he did tonight to, to keep those guys really um, to limit their their kickoff return ability and, and big play ability by kicking the ball out of the end zone. So, yeah, you know, he missed one, um, bounced back, and then I thought he kicked off well tonight. I think, you know, the big story tonight was um, our freshman punter. Um, I thought he performed well. I think what was he um, here? What he average? Um, Tyler Loop. Was we we punted three times for and he was at forty five three so, you know that that was um, I thought that was an area that uh, we we had a concern coming into the game tonight and I thought he performed well um, as in his first um, game as as a punter. Next question, Michael Lev. So Grant um, blamed himself for the first interception. He clutched the ball. He also uh, took some blame for holding onto the ball too long. At times, he also threw two touchdown, three touchdown passes, led you guys to a late lead. Your assessment of his overall outing tonight? Well, you know, I got to go back and, and watch it. I know that uh, sometimes we had some max protection situations with, uh, you know, three receiver routes. The back was helping the, um, early in the game where he held it too long. I think that's a you know, that's a, it's a learning experience for him there, too. Um, uh, you know, they were playing a little bit of two-man, two safeties over the top and and playing man-to-man -man underneath. And, and um, you know, I thought he, um, you know, took advantage of, of that by, you know, running the ball um, and, and putting it down and taking what the defense gave him. So... Yeah, we talked about the first interception and, the, you know, the first drive, you want to start fast. That that didn't help. Um, but again, you know, he, he's always going to take the blame because um, that's the kind of guy he is as a quarterback. But, you know, I, I think, you know, he's just looking back at it, on it and, and looking at it at the, at the time is, you know, there's, there's, there's always some other things that can happen in the route. So, you know, um, it gave us a chance to win. You know, and and uh, by by making plays and 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 taking off and running, um, you know, they had some situations where um, you know there was some uh, questionable activity with with some hits to him, um, either on in the head or or you know just around all over the place. So, you know, he's, he's a tough guy. I think he showed his toughness, um, his mental toughness by bouncing back off the first interception and his physical toughness. Um, by, by putting it down and running. And, and just like I said, you know, there's some things that he's going to, he's always going to want to do something better, even win or lose. And, uh, um, you know, he, he's going to be, be 
be the first to be critical of himself and and then you know we just gotta go back and look at it and, and and what you know we can do better uh as a team as coaches to help him next question bailey o'carroll Hey, Coach. Um, and I apologize if somebody asked this earlier. I got, got onto the link a little bit late. Um, what was it like to play in this different of an atmosphere, even though it was at home? Obviously, there was no fans um, and significantly less people than normal. Well, it, you know, it's it, kind of interesting. We, we practiced a couple weeks ago with, uh, with the ambient noise. Um, you know, it's just different when, you, 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 know, you know, there's, there's not a lot of fans. Um, I thought, uh, you know, because of the lack of travel by our, our, our players back home, <clears throat> the ability to have their, their, their family, um, parents or, or, or wives or, you know, kids, whatever, um, there, you know, I, I thought that had some, some real, um, significance to it. Cause I could see guys when we came out, even during warmups, um, you know, you got to realize these guys haven't been home um, and, and as part of, you know, COVID and, and travel and, and lack of travel. And, and so, you know, just to look up in the stands and, you know, we couldn't, parents couldn't come by the hotel last night um, or anything like that. So, you know, there's, there's, you know, we, I, I feel bad for the Wildcat fans who, who can't be there, but uh, I thought there was some energy early, um, energy during warmups and, and during the game because uh, of the families being there. Awesome, thank you. Final question for coach, Jason Shear. Hey coach, just wondered if you uh, could talk about Gary Brightwell's performance tonight. Yeah, you know, I, Jason, you know, I've been talking about Gary since we started practice, right? I don't say training camp, we didn't have one. We had fall practice. So, um, you know, he, he had a great, he's, he's had a great fall practice. Um, I, I, I've said, the last couple of weeks, I'm excited to see him play. Um, you know, Coach Stewart talks to the running backs about, you know, the extra two yards. And, uh, you know, he moved the pile uh, when there was nothing there. And when there was something there, he hit it. And, uh, you know, I, I can say the same thing about, you know, about Michael Wiley as well. Um, those two guys, uh, you know, played hard. I mean, really hard. And, you know, hung on to the ball. Um, in some, in, you know, in, a, in some pretty physical situations. So, you know, he, he's a guy that, you know, leaves it all out there, um, plays special teams. He and Wiley both um, give us a, a real one-two punch back there at running back today. And, and uh, you know, you want to get him off the field some more, but he, you know, he wants to play uh, and, and uh, take advantage of opportunities. And I thought, you know, he, he did that with, uh, you know, both those guys have the ability to catch the ball. Um, you know, what did Gary have? 21 for 113. Um, you know, Wiley only had three for 11, but, but uh, what he, he, uh, he caught some balls too. So uh, both those guys that, um, are, are, are doing a good job. I think, uh, you know, yeah, I think you see what type of ability um, – really Gary Brightwell has and, and to run the ball and he's got top end speed, but he's also uh, can move the pile and, and we're going to need him to do that. Thank you, everybody. That's all we have for tonight. All right. Thanks, guys.